In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Myriad OCP, or Online Content Processor. It's a, a small application that comes as part of the standard Myriad package. It's designed to enhance digital broadcasts, such as internet broadcasts or DAB digital radio, with additional information and content driven directly from the live information provided by Myriad. It also allows you to add dynamic DAB DLS text to your DAB broadcasts and also information hyperlinks, pictures, other information to your websites and uh, web broadcasts. It gets the information uh, about what is playing and what is going to be playing directly from Myriad and uh, update various sources, DAB streams, local files, HTML pages and WAP pages as well. So uh, the classic use, of course, for providing now and next information on your digital broadcast platform. So let's take a look at it. A couple of things first off to do with Myriad before we load up OCP, you need to turn on the function in Myriad, else it's uh, gonna be a very, very quick way of not getting any information. So to do that, you go settings, Myriad settings, Myriad settings. OCP Direct, it's a new name in version 4, and uh, you may need to make sure that you tick this box here. Send now playing information directly to OCP Stream Stuff Encoder. And uh, you also have to put in the computer. We're just going to keep it all local here, so I'm just going to stick in my local uh, IP address here, and port 1 we're going to use, so we need to just make sure about that we remember that. Uh, number of next items to send, we're only gonna allow one. You can have this option here to allow the user to manually update the information and uh, they have a little box that they can uh, fill out. Uh, these are the ones ticked by default, so you just need to make sure that you tick the ones that you want to send. We're just gonna send through a uh, simple, what is currently, what is the song currently on air? We're gonna send through nothing else uh, exciting here. So uh, we're gonna leave that all as it is at the moment. We uh, may go back to that later on when we get a little bit more advanced. And so we are going to load up the OCP, and this is OCP version four. And uh, here we go, Studio PC, which is the name of the machine here, has control, which is uh, great news. And if we go here, File and Service Properties, uh, with the basic OCP, which is uh, what we're running here, you have one service, which is basically one radio station. Um, and so our radio station, Hot FM, we can uh, stick in a JPEG associated with it, and we can log things. And also we have the ability to turn on the travel flag when the current items title starts with. So you may have a uh, jingle that's your travel bed and you might want to title it Star Star Travel In or something like that. And that will turn on the travel flag for you if you have the options. So here, how is the service getting its information? It's getting it from Myriad. You've got a, a drop down list here, generic text import or Myriad. And here, listen for ports, listen for connections on port number. And remember it was port number one. So that one's all fine and dandy. Updates. Now here, this is uh, where you get sent, resending uh, updates basically. Uh, we're gonna do a file output and we're also gonna do a DAB output and uh, encoder output is runs exactly the same. So we're gonna do those two. And so we could just say five seconds. So that means that every five seconds it will uh, update. You can just choose it not to and uh, it will update at every seg point if you don't uh, set that to change. Uh, you've got some various options here. Update the outputs if the show presenter changes, the show title changes, and also output if the start time information changes by more than a second. You can also keep some periodical uh, updates in the background. This is useful for webcasting because of the uh, delay in webcasting. More details about how to best use that with uh, sending to encoders on the P Squared website, psquared.net. So that's our service settings. So we're pretty much happy with that. And uh, it's got station studio PC has control, which is great. Our station name up the top here. Just a quick whiz through these other ones. So file and service service properties where we've just been remove service. Uh, we've got the cart browser manual set and items information manually settings, which are the usual myriad file locations on our license code. You do need to get a license code if you want to run it for more than 30 minutes in the help chance to create a support file, update information, and also the about box as normal. So we've got our details. So this is basically our in, our input, and that's our output over here. And so we're going to create an output. And to do that, we've got options here, settings, which uh, brings up the service settings as we've had before, uh, a plus, 
and then that one there that forces an information update so we're going to add something here and we get asked uh, which type of output would you like to add and so we've got some uh, extra ones now in version 4 uh, including the audio tx g media omnia and telos they're brand new ones and uh, we've also got the relay here so if you're relaying your information onto another ocp client mainly used in big groups that's what you would use for more information about the OCP relay, just check out the manual. We're going to uh, set up a file and uh, we're going to do a generic file. And we're also going to take a look at the HTML template that uh, comes as part of the install as well. So we're just going to click on OK there. So it's asking us to look for a source file and uh, it by default is looking for HTML file, but we're actually going to do a generic text file so uh, to do that we're going to go and look for it it's in our C program files and it's in P squared OCP and we've got it as a text file here in templates and so this is our text file we'll open it up before I select it and you can have a look at it very very simple indeed it's basically saying now playing and then the artist names with and then the title of the track so it's very very simple indeed this is just going to be a text file that uh, we've actually rigged up to come up on our clocks in the studio um, using a piece of software so this is just a generic text file so we're going to be quite happy with that and we it then asks us where you would like that text file pot and we're just going to stick it onto the desktop and we're going to call it text file and so that's all fine so uh, there's our source there's our output you can uh, chronologically number the versions of the files. We're not going to bother. You can also add a tag to make browsers refresh every 30 seconds. That one useful for the HTML, which we'll do in a second. And uh, you can automatically add tags so that the file is not cached. Got some rules here, which you can set by default. The, uh, it will just send everything through, but you can say to only update this page uh, with certain bits and pieces only when it's an advert, only when it's a song, only when it's a voice link, that kind of thing. And then simple text, you can use a simple text um, OCP sort of markup language. And uh, that is what it will show if you use simple text. We'll, we'll kind of go into that a little bit more in uh, a later later on in the video. So there you go. If you wanted to publish it to an FTP server, then you put the server details in, etc, etc, as per normal. And that would be for FTP in a HTML file up there or a text file if uh, your computer looks at that and if you set up your uh, website to look at that too. Uh, you can copy additional pages, copy these files even if they exist there already. Useful for pictures, etc. So uh, we're just going to click on OK there and we've created our first one and you can see down here on our desktop it's created a text file. So we're not actually playing anything so we better get into Myriad and uh, we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll turn on and we'll start off with this uh, track one Nora Jones. We'll hit go on that and that starts playing away down there so we can minimize that down. And now you can see here track one is uh, it shows us what our current song playing is and what our next song is so track one that's just showing the information it also tells us what our cart number is and uh, so we can actually scroll up and down there you do have the ability to look back at the previous songs as well but we're going to do that and uh, the status is all okay here okay and uh, update one file we're going to force that update you see it went just uh, yellow very very briefly so now if we go to our text file you should now see here now playing Nora Jones with track one. So that will update if we move across and we fire off our next song here. Let's go back here and click on the go to uh, move on to our Mario track. So we're now playing Mario. Minimize that down. You can see here current has changed to boom the remix. And you can see here previous is now saying track one. And uh, so if we go to our text file, can now see now playing Mario featuring Juvenile with Boom Remix and uh, so that is our update so you can see that that file gets updated and it will be updated every five seconds so that's uh, creating a basic file text file and let's move on and create uh, export an HTML so uh, to do that we uh, click on the plus and we're going to do a file again and it's going to ask us for the location of the file 
there's a template here associated that uh, came as part of the install. Click on that. It's going to ask us where do we want to stick our template. We'll stick it onto the desktop here again. And so this is going to produce an HTML web page for us. Again, same options, same rules, etc., etc. We're going to actually click on OK. And uh, if you wanted to publish it to a site, then we could click on click on the details there. But we're just going to publish it to our desktop here, and we're going to click on OK. And you can see here, there's our file FTP. So it's uh, it's all there. And there we go, bingo. And uh, so it's actually copied across the the song details as well. And uh, so we can see uh, the songs here. So we're, we're both on a, OK on there. So that means that they're updating. So again, down here, we've got our Mario feature in Juvenile with Boom Remix. And then if we go to our template here, open this one up. This is our template. This shows the details of the simple text down here. And then you can see all of the various information that it's sending through. Uh, what the song is, artists, start times, end time. Also the JPEG, so you can see here, MYR3039 JPEG. That's the details, more information, the picture file name is. And uh, scroll down here, we can see what the next item is, take what you want, cameraman. And also that's now 3167, which is why it's sent through 3167 here onto the site. And again, car information, etc., etc. And we've got our previous item, which was that Nora Jones track that we played. Details of that, 3135. And so there you go. So that is our uh, OCP test page. We can see what's going on all good and that will uh, just keep on playing through keep on updating through there as well uh, if we just uh, force for the next song to start playing in myriad click on go so we're now playing this cameraman and ultra beat is uh, up next after this so if we go back to our template then here we can see take what you want by cameraman Take what you want, the artist name, artist name one, two, three, four, etc. That's what's going on at the moment. So that's the template that is built into uh, as part of the install. If you actually want to look into the template, we just have a look at this template here. That will give you a better idea. So you can see all of the uh, various OCP markup language, which has got these uh, little arrow brackets around the edges. And you can see that this is the type of information that you'd need to put into your HTML template if you wanted that information to come up. So the template's really useful for being able to, uh, so we could have that template here. We could load up that one here. And so this is actually what is being sent through and so you can just see all oh, right okay if i need to get the item title then it's this piece of information that i need to put into my html file so you can go back and say yep yeah, that is the right information i also want artist names so you can copy that and make that into your html page as well so the test page is, is really useful to be able to see what that what actual data is being sent through so that's uh, creating a HTML page. There is in the manual also a, a simple bit of HTML code that you can copy and paste out, which will uh, make you a nice, simple little web page. We're saying uh, what it's playing and uh, what's up next, that kind of thing. So uh, they are creating a HTML output. And uh, next, we'll just take a look at exporting a DAB output.